Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is a request video for Anthony. Uh, he requested that um, he wanted to see what the mech bay was like um, for being able to view and turn the mechs around. So we're going to go in and have a look at each mech. So here's the Archer. You can see here, we can kind of turn it. You can do a full 360, which is really, really nice. Uh, but not only that, you've got multiple angles that you can do the 360 in, which is beautiful, right? So you can just kind of go in, and if you were if you really like the, the camo patterns and stuff, you can go through and you can change your patterns, right, to see what it's going to look like on the field. Uh, now you know we're fighting from far away, so you don't really see a whole lot anyway. But you can test all your camo patterns out. You know, then this is the uh, lower view looking up at it, which is really cool. And then we've got one more view, which is like a sort of wider shot, straight on view, which is nice. So you know. It really is nice. You can kind of go in and check them all out. Uh, check out the cockpits, you know. And then let's go back real quick. We can have a look at um, one of the Urbamex here. It's not fully fitted out yet, but if we go back into this guy, you know, just checking it out. It's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, once you get it loaded out, just feel free to kind of go in and, you know, it lets you read like stuff like this a little better too, like what you what you got on it. One of these has got uh, city something or other. Where is it? Uh, this one? Yeah. City blood is that what it says? Oh, city blues. It's probably big city blues. Is there another? Nope. I don't see big anywhere. But you you know, it's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, when you're in, um, if you go back to Equip Mac real quick. Or sorry, let's go back to here. Um, when you're here, too, you can twist around. But it's kind of nicer to kind of go in, check out the three different camera angles, and check out the bay. Like, well, this is okay. Right? You can go in 360 or Mac here. I use this for colors if I want to check out a color scheme. Because I do kind of go through on all my Macs, and I, I choose what the best camel pattern is that I think is the best. Um, now some of them, like you're not going to get camel pi pattern wise it perfect because each mech has kind of got a different, uh, I don't want to say texture. Some of the, the models that came in um, only have a fixed color scheme and others have give you the ability to put colors on. But you can see here the Archer is kind of like, I don't know, more drab and then this has kind of got a, I don't know, a darker kind of palette to it. Not exactly sure why that is, you know. Here's the cicada model. It's really nice. And then this this is a probably a good example, um, which it's kind of limiting because if we go in refit, then we'll have a look at this guy. So if you go in and view the Mac here, um, like not all the camera angles are going to work because like this is meant for a Mac that's standing up, and this guy's of course facing forward, right? So that when you come in here, it's a lot more difficult to get it to the lighting to work on it you know so it looks great this way and then you turn it around and you're like okay I can't see shit now you know same thing with the side angle it's kind of hard to make out because the lights aren't positioned for this this type of mech you know you can kind of get it looking okay here you know you can kind of get it into position where you can kind of make it out but it's really not I mean the legs look fine but like I said it's not really made for this kind of mech so yeah that's that uh, See, we haven't had a look at the Urania yet. Let's have a look at this. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, like, like you can see, like this is the uh, Commando model, right? But you can see all the detail on this, which is really nice. Like when you go through and you change the pattern uh, on the original style mechs, the, uh, the detail I find is really nice with the paint jobs. Uh, so I mean just choosing the one you like is really just kind of go through and you can see all the rust on it and it's kind of nice but some of the newer models like I said don't really have that kind of texture uh, and that's fine I don't mind that because like I said when you're, you're zoomed out so much the only ones that I, I don't I'm not really thrilled about are the ones that have like a fixed color scheme so that you kind of go through all the patterns and it's still the same scheme nothing changes you know but I'm not going to like pick and choose what I uh, um what I'm going to say I like and I don't like about it. Like, it, it is what it is, right? You know, you're using the Mac, so what? Um, 
but yeah it's you know it's really really nice so yeah that's it that's kind of the quick video um, and I'll try and do that more often with the newer mechs I get I'll try and go in when I when I start, once I refit them I'll go in and do a, uh, a look in the um, in the view mode and we'll take we'll take a look at the mechs as we get new uh, new mechs so once we, we bring the Centurion back once I get some more uh, uh, either ammo for the LBX's that I've got or whatever once we get those back into play I'll bring the Centurion forward we'll do the same thing with that but I'll try and do that with like like I said with as the episodes go along uh, we'll go in and have a look at them all right so Anthony I hope you enjoyed the episode <laughs> short as it is and uh, we'll see you in the next video